Oh boy, here we go, YouTube, Team Keep It Clean, what's going on? It's Engraven here with another video and another injury update. Um, yesterday, uh, Vince Beagle, who they said had been getting starter reps, uh, they said he tore his Achilles and now he's going to miss the whole season, which sucks. Um, Brandon Stevens, they said he's been dealing with a minor injury. He missed the past two, three days of practice. Hopefully it is minor. Um, that sucks. Rashad Bateman, Harbaugh said he'd been dealing with a soft tissue injury, so he missed today's practice, and he'll most likely miss tomorrow's practice. That sucks. Um, but, again, hopefully it remains minor. Devin DuVernay, who's missed, like, the past, what, three, four, five practices, I think. They said he should be returning soon, but, again, that sucks. Guys are out. And this is yet another reason why I wanted them to bring in somebody else at wide receiver. But anyway, another conversation for another time. The Ravens' first round pick. Well, their, their, their second first round pick. Tyler Lindenbaum. Uh, yesterday, had a little fall. Had a little hiccup. Um, and he ended up missing today's practice. Yesterday, they said it was nothing serious. They said it was minor. Um, but then today they said he got an MRI and they still did say that it wasn't nothing crazy, anything like that. But now it said that he's expected to miss a week or two after getting that MRI. Ooh, so he's probably going to miss uh, the Ravens first preseason game. We'll see if he plays in the second one. Ah, But I doubt it. I, I doubt it because the Ravens this year, they seem like they are really going to go with an extra cautious approach. And I don't blame them. I, I don't blame them at all. Um, but again, for any Ravens fans that's been scared, whenever they hear about a player in training camp going down, whenever they hear about a player in training camp getting hurt, you are allowed to be scared. Please, please do not let anybody try to be like, oh, man, you tripping for no reason. No, 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 no. Last year was rough. Last year hurt so many Ravens fans emotionally, mentally. It was crazy. So, again, like I keep saying, I understand why so many Ravens fans are just they're scared and they're scarred. So with Tyler Lindenbaum, man, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. That, again, Ravens model this offseason. Their second first-round pick goes down. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks. So what now? Who steps in and who shows up to fill his role at the center position? Well, um, one option, uh, and it depends on how they've been playing the offensive line, uh, but one option could be Patrick McCarry. Um, with Patrick McCarry, uh, he, because Jawan James said he has, he's gone from, I think, right tackle to left tackle. And there was that whole quote that was going around. It's like, when you, you when you wipe, you wipe your cheeks with your right hand and you go from wiping with your right hand to wiping with your left hand. It's a big difference. It's a big change. I'm like, okay, the, the cheeks example is pretty cool because everybody can relate to that. But at the same time, it's like, oh, okay. Well, anyway, um, so I'm assuming that they have Jawan James filling in for Ronnie Stanley right now, left tackle. Um, then at right tackle, it's Morgan Moses. Uh, with Patrick McCarry, I, I really haven't heard much about him during training camp. I haven't heard much about him at all. But I would expect him to be first in line for that call up to fill in uh, for one Tyler Lindenbaum at the center position. Uh, another guy that could also fill in for Tyler Lindenbaum at the center position is somebody else, along with Patrick McCarry, who has some experience as a starting center in the NFL in regular season games, that being Tristan Colon Castillo. Um, so Ravens have some options. They got some options. And it's a beautiful thing when you actually do have options because we've seen Ravens teams without options. We've seen Ravens teams with low-quality options. Um, and it's, it's not a pretty sight. Uh, so hopefully with Tyler Lindenbaum, hopefully he can be ready in a week. But even if they hold him out some extra days, you ain't going to hear not, not one complaint out of me. Not one. Because, again, the, the approach this year, it has to be different. I think um, we've obviously been saying stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And that's huge. But another, just another line 
that we can use for Ravens this year, don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. Because rushing is what put them in a lot of bad predicaments last year. Um, and it's a long, long, long season. Now, uh, speaking of the offensive line, um, with Ronnie Stanley, uh, he hasn't been practicing yet. Uh, who knows when he will practice? We'll see. But they, they obviously aren't rushing him. Um, we've been talking about all this offseason with Ronnie Stanley, just how big of an impact he has on the Ravens team. Um, I was just in the spaces a, a couple minutes ago, and I brought up how with Ronnie Stanley, it's like he's the offensive Jimmy Smith. Because when he goes down, that's it. That's, that's a wrap. You can kiss the Ravens season goodbye. Um, so hopefully this year, when he does come back, he will be 100%. But somebody in the comment section, I forgot what video it was. They, they brought up a, a really, really good point and something that I hadn't even been thinking about. Um, they said, well, yeah, Ronnie Stanley, he could come back, which would be great. But how will the his level of play be? How will the, the quality of his play be? Will he be the Ronnie Stanley that we all know and love? Or will he be a shell of himself? Because he hasn't played football in a long time. He played it. He, he did play the one game last year. That, that was a big yikes. And then before then uh, was the year before where he got hurt. What week was that against the Steelers with the T.J. Watt thing? I forgot what week it was. But Ronnie Stanley hasn't really played football in a long time. He hasn't consistently played football in a long time. Um, my guy Vaz made a really good point. He said that we should we should expect uh, Ronnie Stanley, his level of play to drop off a bit. Uh, we should expect it to regress a bit simply because he hasn't been out there and been getting the reps. So maybe it could be one of those things where over time, as the season goes on, as his his not necessarily playtime increases, because I expect if he's out there, he's going to be out there every offensive line, every, every single offensive drive. Um, but we should expect him to, to sort of get better as the season goes along. Early on, it might, might be a little rough. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully he can come out and be like all pro Ronnie Stanley. But um, it, 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 could, it could be a little rough early on. Uh, so that is something that we should we should expect. We're not hoping that it's rough, but we should sort of expect it because you got to knock that rust off, man. And it's been a long time. Um, Marcus Peters, haven't heard anything about him when it's come to injuries. Uh, still waiting, wondering what's happening with him, what's his status. Literally have not heard anything, not a peep. Um, so, yeah, man. I just I just hope all these guys can get back, man. Hope all these guys uh, can get back. Not necessarily ASAP, but well, ASAP, um, ASAP without setbacks. Cause again, no rush. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all a lot. Hope y'all are having a really good day. And just like Tyler Lindenbaum is for the next couple of weeks, we out.